Hey everybody, well, how are you doing out there? It's yours truly. Yes, Dave's World. It's Dave's World from now on. It's Dave's World. So just remember, this is a podcast only. I'll mention this several times. Podcast only. Uh, no visuals, no photos, if you're wondering about that. Um, this is only audio portion only. Um, I want to say to uh, the Juggernugger, who's Jesse Witchway, which you all know out there on YouTube videos, um, him and Ashley broke up, which a lot of people don't know. Uh, him and Ashley <laughs> totally broke up. I don't know who did the breaking up. I really don't know who did the breaking up. But anyway, that in mind, uh, on we go with the story, right? On we go with the story. Uh, so we're going to keep on with the story, but this will be an update story. Yes, this will be an update story. Uh, an update. Ashley and um, a Juggernugger are, are going to get back together again in the near distant future. I, I'm saying it strongly. Together in the near distant future. Not right now, but near distant future. Did I understand? Did I say that properly? Uh, so, yeah, Ashley. Uh, but Juggernugger is kind of... He's uh, trying to get over this breakup. Uh, really, it's hard for him. <laughs> it's really hard to grasp that. I, I get it with these people. It's really hard to grasp that. Uh, this break, it's, I don't know who did the breakup. It's either Juggernugger or Ashley did. Uh, but we won't, we won't accuse any both of them, okay? So we're just, we're not accusing anybody who did the breakup. Uh, but apparently uh, they want some, um, they call in sometimes in relationships, some breather or some, you know, time to themselves. But anyway, that... That's no here, no there. As they say, no here, no there kind of thing. So uh, let, let's just say for a uh, for matter of fact, Jesse Witchway, which you all know on his YouTube channel, uh, is very upset that he, did, uh, that he broke up with Ashley. Really upset. He's, uh, is this, uh, the stage that he's at, he's in denial. The stage that he's in, he's in denial stage. That he ever broke up with her. Ever broke up with her. Uh, but yeah, that's what we perceived him as, and he was not sincere about it. I kid you not, he was not sincere about it. I know he said it from the from the heart of him, but I'm just saying he wasn't sincere in that video of his uh, enough. But anyway, I digress. As I would say, like a lot of people would say, I digress. Uh, what I saw in the video, it wasn't his his very best. Can I just raise my voice up? Can I seriously raise my voice? Thank you. Anyway. I want to I want to say one quick thing. This is not a official breakup. It's when I saw Jesse Witchway, it wasn't sincere enough. If if I were to say it lightly, uh, it wasn't uh, that he was really um, that he was really, you know, it's really hard to do a, a message to someone and really say that you really truly break up with someone. Uh, but yeah, breakups are hard to do. I kid you not, on folks on videos. Uh, the breakup videos are very hard when you're love when you how do you say when you're with someone uh, you know this is not at the marriage stage this is at the uh, just a relationship stage uh, so these two are at a relationship stage Juggernugger, I saw that video and it wasn't sear enough it wasn't truly as sears enough it wasn't like um, he was uh, how do you say it was fumble he was fumbling his words how do you say it? Uh, to say what he wants to say. And it's really hard for him. I, I get it. It was really hard for him to get out the words. But yeah, it's really... Uh, some people really take it very hard. Some people don't. Uh, but yeah, when you're with someone for a very long time, I, I would say a year to a two years uh, relationship, it's really hard to get out that uh, mold, as they would say. Uh, but yeah, with the breakups, it's very hard with the breakups. It really is truly with, with someone you appreciate for a very long time. Uh, you know, if it's a guy or a woman... Uh, it's very hard to do breakups. It really is. Um, I've been through it. Uh, through the, you know, I, I'll give you experiences on this. Uh, the hard breakups are very hard to do. It takes a long time. It doesn't take a year. It takes a very long time. Get over that. Uh, so uh, when you're at that stage, when uh, everything's a okay in your world, come to me, as they say. Uh, uh, but like I said, um, Juggernaut has been uh, kind of. <laughs> Uh, he's kind of uh, denying himself that he ever broke up with Ashley. I kid you not. Uh, but he's trying to deny himself that uh, he never did. So I'm just saying my recommendation, I'm just saying it nicely to anybody out there. Uh, if you're breaking up with someone, it's very hard. These are stages that people go through. Uh, you know, they would talk about the stages. You get denials, you get uh, 
<laughs> What's the stage that people get into when they're in a, a breakup mode? Uh, and uh, anyway, anyway, you people know you guys are smarter than I am. Uh, but like I said, when you're in a breakup, it's a very hard breakup. You know, you've been with this person for two or three years, and it's a hard breakup. I know, I get it. Uh, but like I said, this is only an update. Remember, this is only an update, like I said in previous videos. Uh, so I'm really happy. I see a, a bunch of YouTubers out there. They don't do the breakup moves. Uh, they really don't do breakup moves. This is no joke. They don't really do the breakup modes. It's really hard to get in front of the camera and do a breakup mode. Uh, and really keep a straight face. They always say uh, they don't keep it straight. It's hard to fumble their words. Because it's really hard for them to get the words out, essentially. So, like I said, like I said, with Ashley and Juggernugger, it was a harsh breakup. It was a very harsh breakup to both of them. Uh, and it's not like they're on, not on speaking terms. It's just it's a hard breakup. Whoever did the breakup. Uh, it's a hard breakup. If you've ever been in those situations, it's very tough. It's very tough. Uh, we're usually in the first stage, you're kind of in denial, as people would say. The next stage, I don't know what the next stage is, so you guys will have to guess. Uh, but usually denial is what usually happens for a little while. And you're kind of in denial saying, oh, I broke up with this lady, and yeah, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, as Saifa would say. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, like I said, this is not a rant or anything. This is just my recommendation for anybody who's doing a harsh breakup. Um, it's really hard to get out the words, you know, in your mouth. It's hard to get... Your words, you're trying to say the right words. You know, it's really tough to get that because uh, you've been with this person for two, almost two solid years, and all of a sudden the breakup happens. You don't know who did the breaking up. Is it is it the the guy or the girl? Is the question. But we we're not gonna, you know, you know somebody did the breakup. Uh, uh, but it's really, uh, and then they go in these stages where it's denial stages that even happened. The breakup didn't even happen. We should just be together, not the breakup. Uh, so this is, uh, this is, I call this communication. Communication, everybody says, let's do the communication thing. You know, it's all about communication around the world. We're all interconnected, as they would say, interconnected to each other around the world. We're interconnected. The word you should be using is interconnected. Uh, we're all interconnected as humans on the planet. We're all interconnected. But we have to think the same way. The Juggernugger was very tough on what he said on that video. It was very hard for him to get the words out because he just, uh, it was a harsh breakup for him. Very harsh. A lot of people can tolerate a harsh breakup. Uh, you know, when a harsh breakup, they say, oh, it doesn't faze me kind of thing. Uh, but other people don't seem to. They just, after they broke up with a beautiful girlfriend that they really appreciate, it's kind of that harsh breakup. You know, it's, you're kind of in denial. You say, did this just happen? And you're sitting, trying to say to yourself, because it's really hard to get over that. Uh, did it just happen? Did I just break up with my girlfriend? It did, buddy. It really did. It just did. It's just as you have to reassure yourself. Yeah. It was a harsh breakup, and it's not good. It's like uh, the old saying goes, people would say, tough love. You know, sometimes when you're in a good relationship, you're solid. It's a, I call it a solid relationship. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, go wrong with the relationship. You know, that's that's the one hundred percent. Without uh, you know, with the uh, harsh breakups, there should be no harsh breakups uh, in in relationships. Um, when you meet a girl you appreciate for long periods of time, it's really uh, it's really. I call it, I call it the harsh breakups, the harsh breakups. It's like a, it's like it's like sour in your mouth kind of thing. It should, and you just say to yourself, "Did I just break up with my girlfriend?" Yes, you did, bro. You did, and uh, that's harsh. That's harsh for anybody. And I don't want, like I said, I don't wish for anybody to do a harsh breakup. It's like sour in your mouth. You know, it's not good. It's not good at all. It just you want to, you want to refix. You want, as they would say, you want to fix this relationship, not ruin it. Yeah, you would do anything to get this relationship back on track. Yeah, you, you want to apologize to that person, you don't, not fusely, I don't mean fusely, just apologize nicely. Maybe they'll want you back in your life again, that's what I've been saying. Yeah. So there you go. Anyway, 
I don't wish this for anybody who does harsh breakups. Uh, some people can tolerate a harsh breakup and get over it kind of thing. Uh, it's like the Eagles song would say, get over it, right? Uh, you know, as uh, one of the singers would say. And uh, I'm out of here, folks. Thank you very much. Ashley, this is an update to you. This is an update to you.